paid 685. To give you an idea of price, 550,000. Jesus. I would love to hold half a million dollars. When are you guys rich? I mean, what do you define as rich? The price of this one is 849,500. Is there ever enough money? Here we go! Are <laughs> doomsday preppers right? The brink of a worldwide Mysterious fertility crisis. Mysterious have been appearing. Gun taxes could be could plague California. As clickbait headlines warp our view of the world, I'm spiraling down the rabbit hole looking for the truth. On this episode, Secrets of the Rich. It's one letter, but it spells out. Let me see. Mic check. Uh, just mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Uh, where y'all supposed to be? Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's having a splendid Saturday. Just like another one. And another one. Um, we might got a, a crazy, uh, a crazy aluminum idealistic video for today. Um, y'all might enjoy this because, uh, I need to drop more videos. So, uh, Y'all might like this, so subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and uh, anything, anything, um, so the video is called Inside, Inside the Secret. See how I know? Inside the secret clubs of the rich. What does that mean? Inside the secret clubs of the rich? Inside of the secret clubs of the rich. What do you mean by that? You see how that go? This is a Vice City video. And, uh... Like, inside? Like, inside? Like... I don't know. But, uh... Let's try to hop into this. Like, inside the secret of the... Spiraling, spiraling. This is a year ago, but uh, let me see. What we found out, what was going in there, is unbelievable. Hey, it's Zika Maniatna, finding out what it's like to be rich. Wait, one more time. Hey, it's Zika Maniatna, finding out what it's like. Hey, it's Zika Maniatna, finding out what it's like to be rich. Hey, it's Zika Maniatna, finding out what it's like to be rich. One more time. Hey, it's Zika Maniatna. Finding out what it's like to be. Hey, it's Zika Maniatnam. Finding out what it's like to be rich. What we found out, what was going in there, is unbelievable. Why do you think the rich are so secret? Because they want to stay rich. They bring in a, a child and they set it afire. You know, they'll kill their neighbor for a can of green beans. Right. Go to Bohemia Grove, try to get in. We are supposed to be. I really want to know the truth. To your celestial being, which I may not believe in anymore, but I'm starting to believe in because things are getting so weird. <laughs> Here, there's a body. What's going on in there? Who are these people? Can I ask you how much this costs? Yeah, I just paid 685. To give you an idea of price, 550,000. I would love to hold half a million dollars. Hey, what would y'all do with like a half a million dollars? This like, 849,500. Is there ever enough money? Right. Here we go. Asking how much this costs? Yeah, I just paid. And hey, what would y'all do with half of some with half of this money? Like I would love to hold half a million dollars. Are you guys rich? I mean, what do you define as rich? The price of this one is eight forty-nine five hundred. Is there ever Is that a happy dad? Here we go. <laughs> Our doomsday preppers. And who even watched Vice City? Do y'all watch Vice City? Like subscribe to the channel. Episode Secrets of the Rich. 
been appearing. Gun taxes could sinister. Could California. As clickbait headlines warp our view of the world. I'm Let me try to go back one more time. Looking for the truth. On this episode, Secrets of the Rich. One more time, y'all. Yeah. Headlines warp our view of the world. I'm spiraling. The brink of a world life. Is there ever enough money? Here we go! <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Yeah. Preppers, right. The brink of a worldwide mysterious monoliths have been appearing. Gun taxes inside the California. As clickbait headlines warp our view. Monoliths, like monoliths, looking for the truth. Mysterious monoliths. Secrets of the rich. Are you looking for more in this world? Are you ready for something bigger? Then we are looking for you. We have some of spells out a bizarre whoa 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 this, uh, person may have believed uh and had some beliefs in is this idea of the reptilian theory or whoa. The theory maybe they think jesus christ chips in the vaccine whoa jesus christ to trap people that was a popular rumor conspiracy theories have been what was this many of which are right, this is like shadowy elite class sex cabals and microchips the illuminati and the dreaded lizard people wealthy people who meet in exclusive clubs making backroom deals that undermine democracy after hours of searching whoa for Florida, <laughs> hold on back Minani and is that a lizard people wealthy people who meet in exclusive clubs making backroom deals that undermine bro that's so but i can't pause it no <laughs> one of the most notorious of these lizard people wealthy people who meet in exclusive clubs making backroom deals that <laughs> bro, that's a lot. Undermine democracy. <laughs> bro, that's a lot. <laughs> 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 After hours of searching through internet lore, I came across one of the most notorious of these secret societies, <laughs> the Bohemian Club, in their annual two-week retreat where the ultra-wealthy and powerful meet in a private event. In the year 2000, famed conspiracy theorist Alex Jones snuck into the Grove and secretly recorded the events on a hit. Yeah, supposed to be. I had to know what they saw. So we met up with this former producer, Mike Hansen, who also snuck in with him. What we found out, what was going in there, is unbelievable. This is how I can explain it to you. Okay. This is a death cult. This is not anything to play around with, folks. This Hold on, bro. Hold on. We do not think about any of that. Any of that. Any here. Any of that. We don't know now what. Think about any of that. Let's watch the video. This is a 40 foot stone owl called Moloch. Yeah. And these <laughs> we do not think about what? That are doing the ceremony dress up in robes and hoods and. They be throwing they ditties. A, a child. <laughs> and they said it. We be pushing what? <laughs> a real child they're bringing? I don't know. Okay. If somebody told me about this, I would have said you're crazy. What is you talking about? We just be Four throwing ditties? People. Anybody of any significant is even movie stars. They control the media. They control 95% of the media. It's what you call the new world order. Right. They're setting up a new world order. You are the cattle out there. We are you supposed to be? You know, you are the slaves. They want enough people to, to live on this earth just to be able to serve them. 10% would be enough for them where they can enjoy the earth and kill the rest of the cattle off and the rest of the 10% can serve them, serve them drinks or whatever. You try to get a story about Bohemia Grove out there, you're not going to get it. But that's what's good about the internet. There's a lot of bad things about the internet, but what's good about the internet, they're being exposed. Mm -hmm. Mike pulled up his footage, which showed the club's annual cremation of care ceremony. How do you get to the? Com I'm not. Uh, hit, uh, let's, uh, yeah, you can put it. Go back to the yeah, YouTube. I don't know how to use this. Though. Okay, I got hey, you. Okay, hey, make sure you subscribe to the yeah, channel and turn on post notifications. This is a 40 foot stone owl called Moloch, and this symbolizes the devil. So you got people that are running your government and all your movie stars mostly. They are worshiping the devil and they are sacrificing a baby in effigy. What sane person does this? Would your family do this at, at, a, at a family outing? Fuck no. <laughs> you know we will go to? Popeyes. We'll go to what? McDonald's. Go get us a what? <laughs> Three wings and fries? As it turns out, 
I might have had family <laughs> 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 in the course of making this documentary, it came to light that a direct ancestor of mine was a prominent Bohemian Club member. I found his home recordings that showed what I think is a dress rehearsal of the same ceremony Alex Jones and Mike Hansen witnessed. This is a never-before-seen footage of the Bohemian Grove. Mm -hmm. This like, performance they put on is called the Cremation of the Year. Just go give me a Alex statue Jones somewhere. And Mike Hansen saw and recorded. And they, at one point, burned something. Here, there's a body. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. What is that? They're pulling a body out of here. I mean, a fake body, I think. I mean, look, there it goes. Boom. And then they light it on fire. Nah. Uh. What are y'all supposed to be? I believed it was a baby that they were burning. But that's a honey bun. What is he talking about? That's a whole honey bun. <laughs> but. He's just drinking on Capri Suns. It's an adult body. Whatever it was. I don't think they're actually burning a body. But it's just kind of weird, right? Even the thought of burning a body. Like, why are you burning a body? What, what's the, you know, what does that symbolize? It's just kind of eerie. You know? You can see they've got some ping pong tables. That's kind of cool. What? But this makes me also think, I work in the media. I've got descendants to the Bohemian Club. Am I part of the New World Order? Am I an unknowing pawn in the New World Order? What can we do as, like, concerned citizens to, Okay, like... pray to God that, that the information comes out where everybody will have the knowledge to be able to do what it takes to uh, fight these people. You know, that's what I do. Dear celestial being, which I may not believe in anymore, but I'm starting to believe in because things are getting so weird. Give me the strength to travel to Bohemian Grove to expose the evildoers who are... Okay, so is they fighting aliens or are they fighting... Are ...rearranging our world... We have some sort of ...new world order where we're all going to be enslaved. Because they're not interested in money, they're interested in souls. As a member of the media, I knew it was up to me to expose the shenanigans of the elite. So I flew to the West Coast to see if I could break into the Bohemian Grove. We want some answers. So we're gonna go get those answers. There's the gate, just begging for us to go in. What's going on in there? I want some answers. Are you guys supposed to be? The signs outside warned against trespassing, but I thought I could fool them by peering down with a drone. All right, how much y'all think that would... Uh... Yeah, it's supposed to be. Warned against trespassing, but I thought I could fool them by peering down with a drone. All right, do you see anything in there? Um. What's that, do you think? That's, that's trees. It's a tree? But even from the air, all we could see were trees. Those clever rich people had thought of everything. Lots of trees here. That's it? It was clear that this mission needed to be accomplished from the ground. So I called my super- What is they looking at? Allow me to infiltrate the premises. Sergio and Zeke, I'm uh- Right, what is they looking at? Grove. Man, um, I really want to trespass. No, it's fucking- But this is what you do with your money? Sergio, I don't think you understand the new world order that is that is being formulated here. Sergio, come on, let me trespass, man. He's trying to tell him, like- Right, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta figure out something else. Fuck. Fuck. What are y'all doing with your money, like? <laughs> as much as I wanted to trespass, I didn't want to lose my job. I had to find another source. But where? Who are these people? Thankfully, Mary Moore, an activist mentioned in Mike Hansen's book, I got all the experts in my book. Lived five miles down the road and had been collecting information on the Grove for almost four decades. So I decided to pay her a visit. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm doing okay. Yeah. A little crazed at the moment. Okay, come on in. Okay. What a cool spot you have. Oh, thank you. In addition to being an activist, Mary is also a serious archivist, documenting everything from the happenings of the Grove uh, to, well, um, everything. Oh. Wow. This is the civil rights era room. This is just all of her binders. Actually, this is half of them from just no, coronavirus no. alone. So she archives um, every single thing in the newspaper, but no she way. categorizes them. All right, that's a binder. Um, so it's any article that she sees, anything she any prints out. Newspapers, like, notes, um, newspaper notes, and, any and she high quality out, information. Like by, what is this? Volume four. 
Oh, I got a coronavirus. I would get calls in those early days from people saying, Hi, Miss Mary. Jones working with you. Hi, Miss Mary. Oh, no, no. Alex Jones claims that they're burning real babies and that kind of thing. And so that was never our message. So twice a day um, up there for their two weeks, they'd have lakeside talks. And these are major talks given by world figures, not just national. Those are talks that you and I have the right to be exposed to because they come from people that affect our lives. We have a right to know what they're saying. I don't care if they get up there and dance naked, you know, I mean, fine. It's the effect that they're having on the rest of us that is what we've been concerned with from the beginning. Why do you think the rich are so secret? Because they want to stay rich. It's all about staying rich and keeping power. Hey, that's what's up, Miss Mary. Just that greed, rather than nefarious rituals, was the true motivating factor Bye, Mary. which is secretive behavior. <laughs> Although Mike Hansen was extremely convincing, the devil has little time left. To really test out this theory, I had to meet some rich people and gauge their motives. It's really amazing what you can find online these days between hashtags and digital flexes. I met up with a group in Miami who lived a life most of us dream about, but few get invited to see up close. <laughs> well, me... Rather than nefarious rituals, was the true motivating factor for the rich's secretive behavior. Although Mike Hansen was extremely convincing, the devil has little time left. To really test out the Do y'all believe in the devil? I, I had don't. to meet some rich people and gauge their motives. It's really amazing what you can find online these days. Make sure I follow me on Instagram. Digital flexes. I met up with a group in Miami who lived a life most the real damn about, but few get invited to see up close. It's cool how the gold just separates like that. There's one piece. There's one piece. It's 50 bucks. So I'm in like stocks, watches, and cars. Mm. Are my okay, main, Max. Like, lines of, like, nice to meet you, Max. Yeah, my parents came from money and whatnot, but I still do my Is that a happy dad? Use and make money on my own. While Max came from money, his friend Nick was able to build his own hit Instagram brand, Banger Buddy. So, like, my family, like, to give you some background, was, like, upper middle class, like, you know, money Entrepreneur. Was, like, an issue. Like, I didn't have to go get a job when I was a teenager. Like, my parents just, like, you know, helped me out. Or, like, I had my own side hustles. Like, my parents let me drive their car, so I didn't have to buy my own car. To get below the surface level for Mal, Interesting. I hung out with the guys for a few days to see what they were about. We're going to go meet up with Nick and Max, and they have um, a bunch of their friends coming through with really nice cars. Um and they're gonna drive around their cars um because that's what you do you get together with your friends and you drive your cool cars around that's it <laughs> yeah you want to like go to the beach or like yeah you want to like take it to a lot then like <laughs> Hey, which one y'all would have got in? Come on. Where y'all supposed to be? Because that's what you do. You get together with your friends and you drive your cool cars around. Hey, which one y'all getting in it? I'm getting in the way about. I'm getting in the way about. Oh, we do this all the time. We do like little mini rallies. Yeah, we'll we'll is that like Goyard lunch, color? Hit lunch or whatever. Meet at my yeah. buddy's place. We'll South do like Beach. South Beach to Hard yeah. Rock, Hard Rock to South Beach, whatever. Just in a procession kind of thing. Yeah, yeah we all, we all go, just like, roll through. Like, like we'll all get pulled over too. Like the cops yeah. will like pull us all over. Like they just don't like us all like rolling yeah. in this big like stampede. I mean, a lot of people on Instagram like fake the flex, you know, mm -hmm. but like yeah. this is our daily lives. Like we actually live it. You know, we're not renting Lambos in Miami and like here for the weekend. Like everyone assumes we are. Max not only owned a Lamborghini, he owned two. And so this is your car here? Yeah. This, uh, is, your, uh, this is your Lambo? That's uh, that's my white minivan, which yeah. uh, it's all, it's the same color. I don't know if you want to trade off, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Unlike the secret of nature, I- Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. These guys were- A land truck is cool, but a G-Wagon. A G-Wagon is way better. Pretty land truck is cool, G-Wagon is way better. I them to shop for watches that were anything but subtle. This watch with a rainbow bezel from the factory, Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Really? In this case, the least expensive one is going to be the twenty nine, actually. So right now, around one hundred and seventy thousand. And then over here, to give you an idea of price, five hundred fifty thousand. Can I hold that? Of course. Can I? I would love to hold. I got that. Who are? Most people buy watches and they use it's a utility, right? It's yeah. like you know, like yeah. I, most people want to tell time, but like right, people are like, like sinking that much money into a watch. Is you even paying attention to the time? Like, 
but a lot of the watches have gone up in value like significantly and now that there's more demand and less supply it's just gotten crazier so i'm not like what do you mean by that you say less demand Half a million dollars. Like. <laughs> most people buy watches and they use its utility, right? It's yeah. like, you know, like. Yeah, I, most people want to tell time, but like. Right. People will be like, sinking that much money into a watch is so stupid. But a lot of the watches have gone up in value, like significantly. And now that there's more demand and less supply, it's just gotten crazier. So. I'm not for you, like, said more demand. Back, like, ha uh, what's Billy Madison? You still. You said more demand. You need more, more, more what? You need more product. You need more product? Like products? Different type of products? Just not one. Branch out. Branch out. I love to drink, but I'm not like sitting there just waiting for money to roll in. I'm like yeah. putting my money to work. Can I ask you how much this costs? Yeah, I just paid um, 685 but 600. these cars could go a million. <laughs> well, Max claims these luxury goods are investments. In actuality, it didn't seem like that. Branch out. What happened in the, we were driving yesterday in your Lambo. Yeah. What happened to your Lambo just last night? Just a little uh, incident. Um, we saw some puddles that looked tempting, so I decided to try to like book it through them, and uh, I guess that didn't work out too well. Oh, are you worried about you know the whole thing of these is their investment resale yeah, value? Exactly. Are you worried about the Carfax report? No, nah, I don't even know if like something like that would show up, but the Eurus honestly, I'll probably never sell. Okay. Like, yeah, it's great. one of those cars that I'm gonna keep probably forever. So what about this one? Is this is this? I'm gonna keep this one forever too. I love this car. Oh my god! Unless <laughs> they come out with another crazier SVJ in the future, uh, this one's a keeper for sure. Is it possible I can take? Y'all want to think about a Maybach? <laughs> there you Woo! Go. Holy <laughs> shit! All right. The car's price tag compared to my salary freaked me out a little bit. So after a few blocks, I switched seats with Max so he could really crash. Hey, salute to Max. Salute to Max. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Where are you supposed to be? Part of it seems like it's a sport for you guys. You guys just yeah, like honestly, to make money. It's fun. I yeah. love going to the casino and making yeah. like last time, oh, in Atlanta, like last time we were in Atlantis, I was down a lot. I made it all back and then I tipped so much on my way back. Like I tipped like a thousand, two thousand on my way back up to like breaking even. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I want to be able to be like, yo, I want to go buy this or buy this house Salute. or Cheers, buy this right. yacht, like cruise or whatever. Like it's just nice to have that freedom. And yeah, that's literally what Max did. He booked a yacht. Uh, Probably like a big, like I'd say like an 80, 90, 100. Inch. Yeah, was a How much is that going for for the four hours? Uh, at least start around like 17. Okay. As we set sail, I realized Mary was right. These guys just want to make more money. But what about? I suppose. I wondered if I'd miss something, so I decided to ask. Yeah, I suppose to be. <laughs> Any future yeah. in politics for you? Think? No, I don't think I'll ever do anything in politics because okay. I kind of hate that space. Okay. And I kind of just like making money and kind of like dodge the politics in a way. Ultimately, these guys didn't seem too concerned with anything besides well, themselves. No new world order to be found here. Being rich seemed like a dream. You could get whatever you wanted, and access to money made it easy to make more money. Who gives a shit about world domination when you can just party and make more money? These guys well, pause. being rich seems so excessive. In a monogamy? And then I thought, uh, in a mono. I be rich? Monogamy? In a mono. To the top. In a mono. On this episode, how to get rich. Yeah, baby. That's the thing about this pandemic. It's been one of the greatest... I think the mono is... History. There are now over 200,000 households worth 25 million or more. On the news, it seems like everyone's been making money during the pandemic except for me. Now that I knew that being rich wasn't evil, in fact, it's in vogue, I decided to figure out how I could get rich. And I looked at what I was told was a practical investment, real estate. Surely a small studio apartment in New York City would provide an affordable entry to becoming rich. Hello. Hey, oh my gosh. Come on in. Get out of hey, right. yeah. Hey, nice Andrew. to meet you. Zeke, you? nice to meet you. All right, come on in. This is unit 3C. Oh, perfect. Where y'all supposed to be? As you'll see, even though it's a little compact in this way, the space here lends it to have a very unusual and attractive layout. This is a built-in custom Murphy bed. All of a sudden, da -da -da -da. wow, here we are. 
Cool. That's a nice looking bathroom. It's a pretty deep tub. You don't find tubs like that in New York. Yeah. Hey, I swear, who, who, who can think of the twin brothers that, uh, that did real estate? I swear. <laughs> the twin brothers that did real estate. tub is definitely something that's critical. Yeah, that's what Cool. So definitely Maybe, comfortable this video reminded me of the twin brothers, twin brothers right now. Here, no question about it. This leads out to our balcony here, oh, which yeah. is fully covered. If you're talking yeah, about the kitchen, home office, dining, living room, and a sleeping area. Bro, how many rooms? I need three rooms, at least four rooms. Four office. At this square footage, yeah, it's only 450 square feet, but there's maximum impact here. Cool. Perfect. Now that I'd seen the whole 450 square foot unit, I was prepared to look it's at my BS. finances and see how much money this would put me back. The price of this one is eight forty nine five hundred. Huh? The Genesis. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, how much? <laughs> hey, bro. Which is fully covered. If you're talking you get a little balcony. Kitchen, home office. Hold on. Here, uh, which yeah. is fully covered. Hey, y'all going to be? <laughs> if you're talking All right. studio, kitchen, home office, dining, <laughs> living room, and a sleeping area. It, it's just square footage, because mind you, it is only 450 square feet, but there's maximum impact. This is literally no room. Cool. Perfect. Now that I'd seen the whole 450 square foot unit, I was prepared to look at my finances and see how much money this would put me back. The price of this one is $849,500. You. <laughs> That's an L. No, it's not. All right, who paid it? So in order to, <laughs> the number wise for this, if I were to have 20, <laughs> was it 20% is what you need to put down? So, so in this building, you are allowed to put 10% down, which okay. is an incentive, which is great. So 10%, you need, you need to it's like $5,000 about to. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Well, the apartment had some nice features. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Who can afford to purchase a studio apartment for almost a million dollars? The I mean, studio. This thing has a Murphy bed, even for the smallest corner of the rich. Yeah, I need three bedrooms. I needed $85,000. Yeah, I need three bedrooms. <laughs> I can't even fit in it. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even bring a girl in there. <laughs> I can't even fit in it. <laughs> you think what I am? <laughs> 85000 is to start with 10%. That's still 250k. Dollars. Just That's still 250k a year. Okay, cool. My dream of being rich quickly faded and was replaced by a feeling of economic helplessness. As I spiraled once year. again, half the year. I wasn't alone. Half the year. Across the political landscape, there's been an almost uniform rejection of the elite class in favor of populism. You know when they talk about, they talk about the elite. The elite. Do you ever see the elite? Okay. They're not elite. You're the elite. Mike Fuck no. Owns oh, more excuse more my friend. Than the bottom 125 million Americans. The single biggest lie in, in, in politics is the lie that Republicans are the party of the rich. Well, this type of rhetoric is good for getting reelected. The power brokers of our governments don't seem yeah, to be the party, despite the pleas from the struggling masses. And despite the brutality, uh, police brutality. You know. But if the wheels of civilization really started to fall off, would the rich even notice? Maybe not because they may already be living underground. Okay, once more from the top, please. On this episode, how to protect yourself when the disenfranchised commoner revolts and comes for your money. Uh, stay right, inside. So Where are y'all supposed to be? Shelters to help those who can afford it survive the end times. If you knew some of the people that I, that I sold shelters to, it would make you scratch your head, go home, and try to figure out how you were going to get a shelter. Gary showed me around the warehouse and allowed me to knowledge. see the That's knowledge. shelter that was currently in production. This shelter here I'm going to show you is uh, is one we're going to be sending to uh, the upper Midwest. Got bunk room, four bunks. Mm -hmm. And then if you look here, if you'll turn the camera around, I'll uh, open that latch. Oh, it's a secret latch? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. All right. So oh. just. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. We had a, 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 a small. <laughs> A so small alleged, the alleged walk-in gun safe. Cool. This part of the bunker is the last stand. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you had to come through that hidden door and close it behind you and, and put the latch on, this is where you want to take your last stand. This will be a surveillance room. Okay. He'll have 135 uh, cameras around his property. Okay. And they'll all be monitored from within inside this room. Okay. Okay. 
How much would a unit like this for 1,500 square feet? Well, you're going to remember there's a lot of there's a lot that's going into the electrical, et cetera, of it. But you're going to be in the six hundred thousand dollar range. Six hundred thousand dollar range. Okay. The interesting. 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 It is. Uh, well, <laughs> if you're comparing it to New York City, definitely. <laughs> and it's quieter. <laughs> interesting. Six hundred k. Is he kidding me? He seems tours of high-end shelters that had already been completed. Let's go into this one. <laughs> you know, the first thing it's going to do is show us a dollhouse. I said, I think we... This particular customer, they sent me a matte pencil drawing and said, will you build this? And I'm like, absolutely. See these hooks on the, on the ceiling here? Mm -hmm. It's going to hang a light here to put a pool table out here. In the wow. Here. Like, wow. A pool table in, a pool in table. the shelter. Yep. Cool. That's sick. What's the most extravagant That's such thing architecture. you guys have been asked to put in? What's the most... Architecture. Odd? Odd? Sure, if you want to use odd. Horses underground. Horse, a horse stable underground. A horse stable underground. That is very cool. Got a bowling alley before. With, with ball retrieval and all. Okay, so it's sending you the ball back, you don't mm -hmm. have to go down again. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of that's a lot of mechanism. It's uh, just a bowling alley portion of it. We'll add around $175,000 to a project. Are you kidding me? Done swimming pools before. Cool, very cool. Uh, what's the most expensive one you guys have done? It's probably in the fourteen to fifteen million dollar range. Okay. When it's all said and done. Perfect. Very cool. Like nice. People get a shelter for a variety of reasons, right? But what would you say is the main reason? If civil you unrest. Civil Protection unrest. of civil unrest. Okay. What exactly does that mean? You have civil unrest. Civil unrest be brought forth by a nuclear attack, an economic collapse. I mean, we're twenty nine trillion dollars spiraling out of control. I mean, at some point, you know, checks are going to bounce. Mm -hmm. um, the food stamp cards are not going to work. Those people aren't going to sit there and watch their kids starve to death. You know, they'll kill their neighbor for a can of green beans. Right. You know, I just, I just don't understand. Hey, that must be the most sexist stuff. Because uh, if you don't got a can of chili to make some uh, french fries with chili and cheese. I understand what the, the game plan is. And, and we're never going to understand the game plan because we're not part of inside that well, I could literally go take six dollars and go give me a cake. <laughs> you know, that pulls those those strings and go get some bread that and some milk. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Perhaps the Bohemian Club and all the other ghost stories about secret societies are missing the point. Rich people don't care about you or a new world order or even really the status quo. They really just want to make money. The inferred exclusivity of this group is actually a byproduct from a lifestyle where they couldn't possibly be bothered unless there's something for them to gain. Whether it's the grove gathering or mindless materialism or living underground with expensive horses, the rich have inadvertently chose to isolate themselves. And this could be All right, let me see. Let me try. Because whether they like it or not, money is power. And when you have the power, you must exercise. Yeah. Perhaps the Bohemian Club and all the other ghost stories about secret societies are missing the point. Rich people don't care about you, or a new world order, or even really the status quo. They really just want to make money. The inferred exclusivity of this group is actually a byproduct from a lifestyle where they couldn't possibly be bothered unless there's something for them to gain. Whether it's the grove gathering, or mindless materialism, or living underground with expensive horses, the rich have inadvertently chose to isolate themselves. And this could be problematic moving forward. Because whether they like it or not, money is power. And when you have the power, you must exercise responsibility. Otherwise, at some point, those who don't have power may come for it. Is a composting toilet? I'll ask that you not use it. Okay. A composting toilet? Is that for like flowers? Well, is that the video? Hell no. He used to look like a Greek god. Mm -hmm. But all this stress has got to him just like it's got to me. Mm -hmm. At least I'm not under the amount of stress Alex is. is. He is under a, so much stress. He has, like, got the world on his shoulders. Yeah. Trying to save it. Mm -hmm. I don't. All right, everybody. Uh, I think... Um, mm, do y'all want my, you know, taking on this video? Uh... Push yourself. Push your own thinking cap. Like, like y'all own, y'all all y'all own people. Like, if you watch me, y'all all y'all own people. Y'all can all. 
and I'm thinking too crazy, like, bruh, and look, damn Danny is just sitting right here, you know, let me try this one more time, hold on, hold on, hold on, are y'all supposed to be? Man, there's literally no way. I think this was a W video. And I know I can find me a part two. Part two, part two? Man, there's literally no way. I said at the bottom of everything. I just react to it. So, uh, I put on my cape and, uh. Where y'all supposed to be? If y'all enjoyed this video. I think it would be like 3%, like 4%. 3%, 4%. Bruh, I just need 10 likes. Like, where y'all supposed to be? Like, any idea of, like, you know. Like, you know. Progression. Progression. Small progression of, you know. Small go. Short term go of where I want to be. And, you know, a little short time. You know, May, June, July. Uh, can I get a hundred subscribers? One K? I don't know. Small short term go. You don't even gotta think that crazy. Like, where y'all supposed to be? Uh, I think uh, this is the end of this video. Cause any, uh, I'll just, uh, hey, uh, he was, uh, uh, the concert was kind of great, and, uh, the concert is kind of, uh, mic check, mic check, uh, 